Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I want to show you guys how easy it is to create a website for your salon. Um, I use a company for my salon website called Wix. Um, I'm not really affiliated with Wix in any way. I just think it's a very simple uh, website builder for anybody. Anybody can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys. So let's switch over here. All right. So uh, let's get started in this way. So this is basically the the Wix website builder. It looks exactly like a website. That's what makes it very convenient. Um, a lot of you don't know, but most of the time websites are built with something that they call code. And code is basically a bunch of letters that somebody that went to school for a long time learned to write. And, uh, you know, most people cannot do that. Uh, so this is so simple. And what I like about Wix is, let me just show you, this is our front page of our website. So uh, my salon is Gratitude Salon Education. This is definitely not, if you're a website builder already, this is not the video for you. This is just me showing you salon owners out there that it's easy and you can create your own site. Uh, very simple. So um, this is the basic menu. We have our social media stuff up here. Um, so you could click that. That's easy to set up. So the cool thing about Wix is it's just as easy as clicking it. Let's say I don't like that there and I want to put it over here. I can do that and I just drop it. Um, but let's, I want to keep it right there. So we have that up there. And then I have my main menu here. All of this is connected to each page that I have developed for our website. So um, if I want to shrink that down a little bit. So we have our home menu, which is this. Then we have our our salon, like about the salon and what it, what the salon's all about. So the bio of the salon. Then we have our menu for the salon. We have a portfolio with some pictures of hair that we've done, and then a contact page. And then the salon professional page is the free saloneducation.com page, which you can also click this image here. So um, let's just start with the basics. Over here is how you create pages. So if I click that, it opens up. It shows you all of the different pages that are connected to our website. So if you wanted to, um, let's just start with the salon page. So I'll click that. This will show you what the salon page looks like. It shows a picture of our salon, very simple. Um, and this is a slideshow. So it's many different pictures put together. Um, we have basically the description of our salon and what our salon's all about. Then there's drop down menus from that. So if actually, let me open up open a new tab and let me go to salongratitude.com. So this is our actual page and how it works. So if you go to the salon, you can see this drop down menu here. You can see that the slideshow is working here, showing some of the staff and everything. Um, so to create these drop down menus, let's go back to our editor. Um, I have my main salon page. Then you can see how these pages are offset. So now each of these pages, this one is the salon. Then we have owners. So picture of me and Christina um, and Hayden, and it just talks about us being owners and, and what that's all about. Then you go to our team and it has the bios of our whole team in here, um, kind of breaks down everything. It's really simple to do. So if I want to create the main salon page here and then have drop down menus from it, right here you can see these are a little offset. So if I want it to actually show up in the menu, I drag, let's see. Could take this page, drag it over, and now you can see team shows up here. So if I want it to be in a drop down menu from the salon page here, then I just drag it over. So it's really, really simple. Anything I want to do, if I want to change this picture, all I have to do is double click it. Once I double click that picture, let's see here, it'll bring up this editor and you can upload. Here's some of our friends in there. Uh, this is also connected to the free saloneducation.com page, but um, any picture I want to add in there, Let's throw Josh XO a bone. Let's say I want to become Josh XO. So let's change the image and boom, it puts it right there. You can change the size if you want. Um, and then that becomes your bio. So let me go back to, let's change it back to me. I don't have to be Josh. So let's see here. And there we go. So it's back to me. So it's just that simple to change the pages and whatever you want it to be. Now, we'll go back to our pages here. We have our menu. That brings up the same thing. If you wanna click an image, you can add images, you can change your pricing, you can write whatever you want. So let's say I wanna edit this text, I double click it, I can highlight, 
I can write whatever I want. So I can come in here and type in and then you click out of it and you're good to go. Uh, let me just take that away here. So it's just really simple to create a website on Wix. And the cool thing about Wix is that it's free for you to start. So you just create the page and then the max amount that you're probably going to pay is $10 a month to be able to have a website. You can uh, create your own domain and everything. Then as soon as you have your page the exact way that you want it, you save it up here. So once you save it, you're good. And then you hit publish and whatever is already done on your website, once you hit publish, it's going to go live. So you can do all your editing and then as soon as you have it the way you want it, then you publish it and it's it's ready to go. So again, up here, you can change your, your logo and everything. And this is something that you want to get into it, try it out, and you'll, you'll discover different things. Um, this isn't a full tutorial on it, but this is just showing you how easy it is <clears throat> to create a website uh, nowadays. Now, the other cool thing, and let's go back to our homepage here. Creating a slideshow is simple. So you can see all these images that I have added in here. So that's gonna rotate through. Um, you can add your titles, whatever. You can link them to other things. So that's kind of a cool function as well. So if you have something, maybe you're running a special in the salon and you wanna link it to that. I also, we run gift cards in the salon and we use Millennium eGift. So they're online gift certificates. So what I did was I created an image and then this, well, I'll do that, um, I link it to our Millennium eGift. So now if you go to our salon website and you're like, oh, I want to order a gift certificate, you click that, it takes you to our page on Millennium uh, for them to purchase a gift card, which is really cool as well. We can, there we go. So it has our logo here. They pick a design, whatever they want. They buy the gift card, it emails it to someone, which is another cool thing that you can do. But you can click and add everything to whatever you want. We have our reviews in here, um, wedding page. So uh, I think that's pretty much it. But if you guys have any questions, please post them below on anything about building a website on Wix. I can answer them. I hope I've kind of clarified some things for you on this. But make sure that you subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us. And again, post any questions below. I'd love to answer them. Hopefully this helps you guys and make sure you go to Wix.com, create a website, have fun with it. And, you know, this will save you a lot of money and it allows you to have a little bit of creative control on what your salon looks like online. So thank you guys. It's Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. <laughs>